Big Wayne, she freaking chugged on it, and she was like, um, like, I just, I, like she was giving the blow job. Yes! <laughs> Dude, that's fucking crazy. I think it'd be a good idea if she doesn't come home for like a day. Cheated on me with that fucking cunt. She's such a hoe. Absolutely fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. I cannot That's believe that she fucking did that. It was absolutely crazy. Just totally fucking nonsense. Fuck you, bitch, you cocksucker. Your mom loves me. 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 This would happen. <laughs> okay. I wish that everything is censored.
What the heck? Good morning. It's Saturday, April 27th, and a strange phenomenon has been occurring all around campus. We have reports that state students are unable to use profanity. Due to the nature of our interview, we are unable to include the audio. However, to prove to everyone that we are not fake news, we encourage you all to attempt to use profanity. The phenomenon started early this morning and we don't know what caused it or maybe who caused it. Jake, I can't use them. Vanity. Yeah, right. You're just f***ing with me. LeBron, what's going on? I can't even say f***. <laughs> Y'all are weird. Y'all are just doing that on purpose. But we're not! See, look, I can say them. documentary unit um, and when I teach documentary the first thing I always ask is what is a documentary? Is it a really real film? Is it a fiction film told in a more realistic way? Is it a biopic? When I first learned about documentary I learned about it through six different modes which we're going to focus on today. So six modes are expository, poetic, observational, participatory, reflexive, and performative. So we're going to start with expository. It is the most popular um, expository, yes. Sounds like expose, uncover, un, 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 relieve from the underground. Um, there are very certain aspects of each mode that sort of define each mode. With expository, the main one is a voiceover, voice of God. You're uncovering an argument. Oftentimes, it's about a real person, um, either in their everyday life or a specific part of their life, and you're often making an argument. It's a lot of interview footage, it's a lot of archival footage, it's a mixture of types of media. It's the most common. Next you have poetic mode. Poetic mode's a little bit more experimental, a little bit abstract, um, more interpretive, if you will. Um, you can see here it's very lyrical, rhythmic, emotional. Um, it requires a lot of work on the part of the viewer to interpret what's going on. <laughs> Yo, Marco, wait a second. Uh, I... Mind if I talk to you for a sec? Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? Well, there's something that's going on around campus. There is? Yeah. It's kind of unusual. You know what? Very unusual. It's something that they can't put into words. You know. Something that they can't say? I think you know what I'm talking about. 
I, I, I don't know where you're talking Don't to. lie to me, bro. Me, Jake, and Wayne saw you over there the other day laughing at your desk. And quite frankly, I don't like being laughed at. I didn't like it one bit. Oh! oh what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Oh. What was that for? You're the one that made the wish I couldn't use profanity. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? should I stop? This is only the beginning. Pretty soon, you're gonna experience he Oh! I can't say that word. I can't say that word because someone made that stupid wish. And have fun while you can. And good luck. You're gonna need it. Or, you're gonna wish for it.
You alright, man? You know what? I like to help people. And I want to make sure they feel really good about themselves. So I'm not going to leave here until you tell me what's wrong. Come on, tell me what's wrong. That, that guy, Le LeBron, he was being mean to me. Oh yeah, I saw that. Why was LeBron being mean to you? Because he knows I made it. I made a wish for people to stop saying bad words. Why did you do that? Because I hate when they say bad words. Why? Because they're not good for you. Like, why did they say bad words? I don't get it. Because we can. We can say bad words. You're old enough. You can use profanity. But, but I don't want to say them. I haven't said one bad word in my life. Okay. It, it's really hard for me to hear people say bad words. You know, I've been, I've been hearing them say them since I became a teenager. I do. I hate it when they say them. They, they sound so obnoxious. I, I, I try telling them to stop saying bad words, but they kept ignoring me. Well, what can I do? I'm easily outnumbered. Like a million and one. But you made the wish, right? Oh, yeah. I never thought it would actually happen. I just said it out loud one night, and then it came true. I was glad that I made the wish, because I was tired of hearing them say bad words. I didn't want to hear another one ever again. I thought... My life is going to get better, as good as y'all's. But uh, I feel that my, my life's going to get worse. I'm going to get killed by LeBron. LeBron? <laughs> I don't want him to beat me up. I don't want to get knocked out. I was bullied before. I, I, I was bullied by three, three, three guys when I was in junior high. No matter where I went, they, they, they come over here and beat me up. I yelled for help, but no one came to help me. No one. I was so alone. 
You didn't have a friend? I've been that once since I was 12. You see, I, I, I met my best friends when we were in fifth grade. And right after we met, we just clicked like that and we became best friends in no time. I, I had an amazing time with them. We ate lunch together. We played basketball together. I even spent a night in his house. I had an amazing time with them. Like, he's one of the best friends that anyone could have ever imagined. But after when when we were in sixth grade. He and his family decided to move to Wyoming. <laughs> after, after, after he moved, I became. I, I was really devastated when he left. I did. I didn't want him to go. I I I wanted, I wanted him to stay. I wanted... I wanted I wanted him to stay with me until we we graduate high school. Like I I want him to stay with me forever. He was the only friend that I have. He. That is taken away from me. <laughs> after after that, I became I became really depressed ever since. My life sucks. I haven't had a friend in a long time. People say bad words all the time. Everyone around me are horrible. I thought my life is going to be better for now on, but... But I think everyone's going to kill me. I guess I'm not meant to be happy. I guess I'm a servant. Dude, I think you're taking this a little too far. They're not bad words. Yes, they are! <sighs> okay. Maybe they're bad words, but... That doesn't make us bad people, you know? One day there's going to be somebody out there who's going to want to hang out with you, and they might use profanity. So you should just, like, look past that and just be happy you're with the person you're with, you know? You know what I think you should do? I think you should try to take that wish back. We don't want our voices to be silenced. You know what? I gotta go to class. Do you wanna walk with me? Yeah, I think I'll just stay here for a bit. Okay. Well, alright.
You're sure you don't want to come? No, but... I think I'll see you later. Okay, cool. Later. Let's see if I can do this. I, I, I wish for everything to be back to normal. So the officer came in to settle the fight, and I was all, sorry officer, this guy was speeding down the highway and hit me on the side, and then I went into the guardrail. And then the dude was like, bruh, I didn't even do that, he was a psycho driver and he hit me. <laughs> I swear I didn't even do anything, and then you know what happened after that? The officer gave me a $500 ticket. What? I know, right? It was bullshit. That's insane. Right? That day sucked. I, I can't believe that he gave you a ticket. That is injustice. 
But do you know what I should have done? You should have got her up there, find the guy, and literally carry him to the chest. <laughs> they should have done a lie detector test or something. Yeah, maybe I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're thinking about minoring in Spanish, right? Yeah. Uh, how, how come you want to do that? Uh, my neighbor speaks a lot of Spanish, and when I see her, I always want to try to communicate with her, but I can't, and it really sucks, and so... I don't know, it, it's always been in my mind to like try to learn Spanish, you know what I mean? Marco. Hey. Marco. What's up? Uh, uh, how, how come you haven't been hanging out with, uh, LeBron or Jake? Uh, I just don't feel like it anymore, you know? Ever since I started hanging out with you, I've, you know, started to find out a lot of interesting things about you, like you hate profanity. And I've never met anybody who hates profanity before. It's kind of unusual, but it's different. I like different. And because of that, that's what I like about you, hanging out with you. Really? Yeah. Wow. Do you know what? I think, I think that was the nicest thing that anyone's ever said to me in a long time. That's good. Yeah. Hey, Marco. I got a question for you. Yeah? Are you ever thinking about using profanity? Do you want? No. I am not going to say bad words. Because that's not Marco. <laughs> and I always want to be Marco. Yeah.